Hi everyone, Anjata this side. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, we will explore how to perform performance browser testing with different viewport sizes. So it's very important to conduct separate load testing for different viewport sizes as well, just to ensure your application performs under specific conditions. For example, mobile browsers have different viewport sizes and rendering engines as compared to your desktop browser. So it can impact how your content is displayed and loaded on that viewport size. I have a couple of viewport examples over here with different width and size. For example, for iPad 2, it's 768 and height is 1024. So today we will see for different combinations here. Now let's go to our editor, start writing the code for it. Now this is the same test case which we have covered in the previous video where we are importing the browser from this case it's experimental browser and then setting some load options for virtual user 2 and duration of 30 seconds. And then this is our default function where we are opening the browser and just launching this URL, which is google.com. Fine. For the demo purpose, what I will do, I will quickly change the duration to 10 seconds. And first we will see how your browser opens in a standard viewport size, which is a default one. And later on, we will change the viewport size into different width and height. Fine. Now let's go to terminal and let's see how it behaves by default. So let's run this command, which is ksix browser headless false. You will see it in the UI mode, that's why I'm passing headless as false and let's run it. So you see, this is the actual viewport size. Now, if we want to pass different viewport size, what we have to do, we have to use page dot set viewport size method like this. And inside this, you need to pass an object containing width and height. So let's pass width over here. So let's do one thing. Let's take some example from the screenshot. So let's run it for iPad mini, which is 768 and 1024. So I'll pass the width as 768. And now we can pass height, which is 1024. Now we will observe it will be opening in a different viewport size as compared to the first time. Let's go to terminal and run the same command. You see the browser viewport is actually different this time. The width was more last time when we were opening it but now you see the height and width is totally different let's do one more thing let's run it for one more example let's take the example of iphone x which is 375 and 812 so let me pass over here 375 and 812 now we will see it will be opening in a different viewport size which is actually similar to iphone x so let's go to terminal and rerun the same command and let's see it so you see now it is actually opening in a different viewport size, which is the viewport size of this device, iPhone X. This way you can run it for different viewport, viewport size and can verify it is loading for different viewport size or not. It is very important to ensure it behaves properly under specific conditions also, right? Because what happens, the mobile users might have intermittent connectivity or they can, they also switch the apps frequently. They have a shorter attention span, which can impact the load on the server. So by passing different width and height, you can actually observe the load for different viewport size and can analyze how your application performs for the given viewport sizes. Fine. So yeah, this is all for today's video. I hope you like the content. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are learning K6. I'm sure it will be helpful for them. And I'll see you in the next video.